Now on Monday, an EF2 long track tornado tore through Abbeville and Greenwood counties. We were on the air walking you through that storm minute by minute, and now the cleanup is underway. Our meteorologist Cedric Haynes is live in Abbeville County right now from the path of that tornado with a first hand look. How are you, Cedric? Hey there, Chris. I'll tell you what, this damage is very extensive across the area. And in fact, you can look behind me and you can see a couple of things I want to point out. First, you can see this huge tree that was just uprooted straight from the roots out of the ground, leaning on its side. We've got other trees that are just kind of twisted in different directions here. And of course, a lot of debris around here. But something else I really want to show you that's pretty interesting when you have tornado damage. I want to show you this bigger tree over here that's not only kind of snapped and leaning over, but if you notice, Look at how clean the bark was just peeled completely off of this tree here. So you can see this damage, those winds up to 125 miles per hour, leading to some very serious and extensive damage. The tornado crossed the street. I can't show you, but across the street on the other side, we've got trees leaning in another direction as the path of this storm continued to move on through. Now on Monday afternoon, of course, a lot of emotions. A lot of people were quite, uh, uh, you know, interested in what was going on with the weather and had a chance to catch up with David Garner to talk to us a little bit more about what his feelings were as the tornado warning was issued and what was going through his mind specifically personally for him. I had you know uh, children at school locally and also family at home um, and I've been in this county for about five years now and uh, we were all talking in on this hallway that uh, this escalated so quickly this was the worst weather event that we had seen in this building since we've been here. Uh, it's the first time we've ever actually had to pull people off of one floor to another because of the seriousness of it. Uh, so it was one of those situations. We know that we're very safe in this building. Uh, this is probably one of the, the most hardened, safest structures in the county here. But nonetheless, it was still a, a, a very concerning situation with how quickly it escalated. And of course here, look at this folks, we were able to find that bark here completely peeled off and stripped off of that tree there among many other damage uh, items here. Now the good news is mostly just some tree damage, some property damage. We had one uh, injury, no fatalities, and that's always good news as well. But the, thankfully the warning got out and people were able to uh, take shelter there. But reporting live now from Stevenson Road here in Abbeville County, meteorologist Cedric Haynes, WYFF News 4. <music>